So, continuing with the uh, mega popular theme, yes, I'm being sarcastic, of uh, C64 arcade conversions, I thought I'd try Ninja Spirit uh, because I noticed it was actually programmed by Chris Butler. Yes, Chris Butler. Now, before you say uh, Space Harrier uh, and stuff like that, before those, he did the uh, Commando and Ghosts and Goblins, I believe. Um, so, you know, Ninja Spirit is uh, bread and butter, sprites and uh, hardware scrolling game for him, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's go for high school game. I did test this on uh, Winvice. So it should work. And it hasn't worked. That's the version I tested on Winvice. Ah, crap. Okay. Anyway. Let's see if this one works. Well, that's a good sign. The green LED is on, not the red one. Good thing I'm recording this, because if this works, it's the only way I'm going to know which of the uh, eight versions or whatever is the one that worked. And yet the one that I tested on Winvice didn't work. So this is an EREM game, or IREM. Yeah, there you go, Chris Butler. Uh, Martin Walker did the music. It's alright, actually. Well, technically, Martin Walker is, is, is okay at SID programming. It's just not really uh, my style, I have to say. There's just something that's different. I'm mm, ah, more of a David Whittaker sort of person, I suppose. And everyone likes some pop art. So there we go. I didn't say you've done the graphics. Well, that's fine. <laughs> it's like a Benny Hill skit. So we've got a trained version that works. So if I actually like it, uh, we could we could press the Commodore key to level skip. Uh, I might have actually played the arcade version. Oh, you've got to watch out for the, uh, the little hunchback there in his uh, brown trousers doing you in, isn't he? This is probably uh, the, the most I've liked of uh, a Martin Walker soundtrack. It's actually quite nice. I like the instruments he uses anyway. Kinda goes with that Far Eastern feel. Or Oriental feel. I don't think you're allowed to say Oriental anymore. Continue from the very beginning. Oh, bloody hell. Maybe it isn't the very beginning. I don't know how you jump. Are you not allowed to jump? That would be a bit weird. Oh. See, I'm still learning the world well, faster. I don't like that little hunchback covered in shit. I want to see some different graphics now. Yeah, I mean, what is it with these colours? These are not, no, no, the, the sprites are good, again, like Last Battle, but the backgrounds are rubbish. Uh, maybe if they didn't have such spastic fucking colour palette options, you know, if it's meant to be night time, it's not turquoise, moonlight is uh, either pale blue or pale silver. There is no fucking turquoise going on here. Ah, uh, these graphics just put me right off, mate. Right off. Mm. 
level three, uh, level three look any better? Level two cleared. I thought you said level two loading there for a second. Yeah, see, it's, it's a waste of musical talent, coding talent, some fucking dipshit who doesn't know what he's fucking doing. He's probably colour blind as well, certainly devoid of any talent. There seems to be a lot. What the fuck are these graphics? Now, I refuse to die on such an ugly screen. This is probably the bare minimum, I'd say. It's a real shame because it's really smooth and the controls are responsive. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the sprites are good too. Whoever done the sprites, I can't believe that's the same person. I was trying to jump up onto that platform. Okay then, well I've seen enough, which means you've seen enough.